Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to be going a little bit more depth uh, into colors and end curses, and uh, let's just get started. So before we get started today, uh, let's just go over what we've got set up to begin with. So first off, as usual, I've got a make file here. Feel free to pause and copy this. Um, and then I've got a just like some template stuff set up here. Don't worry too much about this stuff. I'll explain what this is in a second. But uh, we start by just adding our end curses header file, starting end curses with the net screen, uh, ending end curses with end win. Um, and then we check to make sure the terminal has color. If it doesn't, print this out and return. Otherwise, we run start color here. So to start out today, um, in order to go a little bit more in depth with color, I kind of want to explain what start color is doing and a little bit more about like the color environment that we're setting up within end curses. So at least in the legacy system, which is what most of my tutorials are about, start color sets up a few variables for us in the background. I guess they're constants technically, variables, constants. I don't actually know in this case, it doesn't really matter. You're not going to be editing them, I don't think. So that's, we'll call them constants. So, um, First off, it creates a couple of variables here, uh, variables here called colors and color pairs. What these variables are is essentially they're um, they're just numbers actually that uh, tell you how many um, available or how many colors you're allowed to make, like the, the amount max and number of colors you're allowed to create. And same with color pairs, it tells you the max number of color pairs you can create. So. And by default, it actually creates eight colors for you, which are these uh, black, red, green, yellow, blue, magenta, cyan, and white. These constants are defined by star color as well. So this little thing here I've set up is just going to print out what these values are for us so we can see what they are. So you'll see that by default, colors is set to a max of 256, so you can define up to 256 colors, and those are zero index, so it's like the, the, the highest index would be 255, if that makes sense. Same with color pairs, we can define up to 256 of them. Um, and like I said, by default, there are eight that it gives you. Um, so, you know, color black is actually zero, color zero. Color red is actually color number one, so forth. So um, so that's essentially what NCURSE is, set, is setting up for us in the background. So, um, and then I, I've already done a tutorial on colors in the past. So if, if you, again, I should have said this at the beginning, but if you haven't seen that already, I recommend going to check that out because that'll give you a little bit of a basic understanding of what we're talking about today, but um, and I've also talked about attributes before. Again, another tutorial. Go check that out. But um, essentially, what we're doing here when we do uh, attribute on or add or on, however you want to say it, um, and then we do color pair um, one, uh, is we're telling it to use color pair one, and there's up to 256 color pairs. So technically we could define color pair two, three, four. We could define the color pairs all the way up to 255. Now, what I haven't explained to you before is I haven't explained how you can create your own colors. So I've showed you how to make pairs, but I haven't shown you how to make your own colors. So there's actually a um, method, routine, function, whatever you want to call it, called init uh, color, which allows you to uh, create your own color, uh, similar to like how these are created, color black, color red. So what I'm going to do is up top, I'm going to define a new constant called uh, color, let's call it color pink. Um, and um, that I'm going to give the uh, index of eight because it's the next index that isn't being used. Um, you might want to like to be safe. Sometimes I'll do something like make it color pair um, 16 just so it's a little bit higher, um, just so we don't accidentally collide. But in this case, I'm just going to make it color pair or make it the uh, ID of eight. Um, so what, we're, what we can do here is we can say, okay, color pink, um, the init color uh, method function, uh, the way it works, or sorry, the arguments it takes is first it takes an index, which has to be a number between zero and the max number of colors here, which so it would be 256 would be the, or sorry, 255 would be the highest number. So take, that's the first parameter is the index, basically the ID. So it, it's, we're passing eight basically here. And then the next three things are uh, basically RGB values, but instead of being the standard RGB you're expecting where it's like a value between one and 255 or 256, or sorry, zero and 255, it's actually a number between zero and 999. So 
what you kind of have to do is if you find an RGB color online, you're going to have to convert that from 0 to 255 instead to be a value between 0 and 999. And that's actually really simple. I'm going to show you, how, you guys how to do that now. So first off, let's find a RGB color we like. So I have a little color picker tool that um, I can bring up here. So um, let me just do that. So yeah, so I like this color here. Um, I'm going to click on it and you'll see the RGB value is 250, 96, and 142. So what I'm actually going to do here, um, in order to turn this 250 into a value between 0 and 999, is actually pretty simple. What you do is you take 256 and you divide by 250. So that's, oh sorry, other way around, my bad. <laughs> what you, what you want to do is you want to take the, the smaller number, so like 250, divided by 256, and that's going to give you the, the value you're looking for. So in this case, it's 976, these first three digits. You can either round up or down. It's not going to matter too much in this case because the number is so big. I usually just take whatever I see here, so 976. Um, so that would be the first value that we want to grab. So that's the red value, so 976. Then we want to get the 96, so we'll take uh, 96. Oops, a little dyslexia there. 96 divided by 256. And that gives us 375. Uh, so we'll throw that in. 375. And then finally, let's do the last one. So the last one is 142. 142 divided by 256. And we get uh, 554. So let's throw that in 554. So what we've essentially done here is we have defined a new color, color pink, with the RGB values 976, 375, 554. Um, and now that we've defined that, we can use it just like we would any other color. Uh, so what we can do is now we can say, you know, add our on, color pair, um, or sorry, my bad. First we have to create a color pair that uses that color. So uh, what we can do then is we can say init pair and we'll just call it color pair one because I haven't created one yet. Um, we'll have the foreground foreground color be that color pink we just created, and the background be uh, color black. So it'll be a black background or pink on black basically. And now what we can do is we can do add or on um, color pair one, and then we'll just do print w test something like that. Uh, and I'm actually going to comment out this stuff up here because we don't need that on screen anymore. Um, actually, you know what I could? I, you know what I'll do? I'll put it before and after this so that we have um, a lot of text as our example. So we'll do add our off, uh, color pair, sorry, color pair one. Technically speaking, I guess we don't have to turn it off because we're just going to exit, but it's fine. Um, all right, so let's do a make and run here, and you'll see that it's given us that nice pink color that we were just looking at. Um, so it, it matches really closely to this color here. Um, so, yeah, we, we were able to define that, and, you know, you could define that as any, basically any color you want um, with this degree of accuracy. Obviously... You know, it gives you a little bit more accuracy than having to use 255. You can get a little bit more fine-grained uh, because it's between 0 and 1,000 instead of 0 and 255. But yeah, you obviously don't have that much color depth. But this is pretty much more than I think you're ever going to need. Um, so yeah, that's basically, you know, colors in depth. Um, this gives you the ability to, again, like I said, create up to 255 different, sorry, up to 256 different colors and up to 256 different color pairs, which is... Again, like I said, probably more than you'll ever need in most cases. Uh, there is a way to actually create more than that many uh, color pairs and um, colors, but um, I'll save that for another tutorial um, instead of going over it here just so we don't fill up this tutorial too much. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys liked that. Um, if you did, uh, consider giving this video a thumbs up. Um, if you have any comments, questions, uh, leave those down below. I try to answer everything. Um, if you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing, uh, turning on all notifications. Um, also, I have a little donate button down below if you want to do donate to the channel, help support the channel at all. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.